Right, so in this next video we are going to have a look at something slightly different. We've looked at switches, um, bulbs, batteries, we've talked about um, having too much electricity and what can happen and not having enough electricity. So we're going to focus on two areas. Um, firstly, looking at an ammeter. So that measures the, the active sort of amount of amps or, or electricity running around the circuit. Uh, and then we're going to look at resistor, which helps us limit the amount of power that is running through the circuit. So I've got my bulb, I've got my battery. I'm going to connect them up there and I'm going to put in an ammeter down here. So what we've got uh, right down the bottom, not quite that far, is instrument. And we're going to use this instrument here. Now this instrument is called a multimeter. And it's got an A, a V and an R. We don't need to worry about the R. V is the number of volts that are running around the circuit. Um, a is the amps, so that's the kind of the active current that is happening. Um, and yeah, it will tell us when it's connected up how much is running about. So I'm going to select positive to positive. I'm going to move this around to negative. I'm going to start our simulation. So this tells us there is nine volts running through the back through here. Um, so that's the amount of volts that are going around the circuit. This is kind of the volts that are actively being used by this item, the amps. It's 182 MA, which stands for milliamps. Okay, so, that, so that's the amount that is being used by this item. Uh, we'll go back to volts. So remember the number of 182. We're going to need that later. So I'm going to add in another bulb. I'm going to delete this line, this wire. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to add in a, another bulb. Around like that, just making sure it's all connected. Sometimes it's quite hard to see where the wires are connected. Uh, now, when we start the simulation, it's still nine volts because there's still nine volts running around um, the circuit. But how many amps is this using? Remember, it was using 182 milliamps last time. Now it's using 92.3 from 182.5. So, what you should hopefully notice is not only are the bulbs half as light because there's half the amount of electricity being able to be used by each item because each item is using some electricity. So it's half the amount. Now, were I to add in a third bulb, uh, we should go down to a third of the amount. Okay, so let's do that. Let's start our simulation. I appear to have... Uh, not connected this properly. It's a bit of an issue there. So let's. Well, I've, I've linked it to the negative one accidentally. So let's start the simulation. Here we go. So we've still got the same amount of volts running around, but in terms of amps, in terms of the electric output, again, it's gone down to 61.9. So each time we add in the item, the number of amps is, is coming down. It's not allowing as much electric, electrical power to go through it. Okay, now something else we can do. Uh, if we have an item that maybe we want to take the electrical power down for, we can use a resistor. Now, a resistor uh, uses up the electrical power in, in the form of heat, just a little bit of heat. You can't really, if you touch the resistor in real life, you can't really feel the heat. But it kind of dissipates some of that electricity through heat. Uh, so we are going to go up to general, and we're going to use a resistor. Now, resistors come in different sizes, okay? So... You can have a number of how how much you want, how many ohms or kilo ohms or whatever you want, and that will affect how much is running through the item. So if we connect this up, our resistor, when we run, okay, the volts are still nine, but notice we're, we're down to 8.5 amps. So if I select my resistor and I take it down to just ohms, the amps go up. Uh, if I want to resist one ohm, if I change that to 50, okay, you can see it's going up. If I change it to 100, okay, you can see that this the amps coming around are going down as this is dissipating it. You may also notice the colours changing on here. Now, those colours relate to 
the actual level of the resistor. Okay, but we don't need to worry about that moment. All we need to know is that if we have no resistance on, we have a full 182 uh, milliamps coming through. If we put any form of resistance, every time we up the resistance, the number of electricity comes through. So before, when we used, uh, in the last video, we used our LED, and we connected that up. Needs to go to positive. Put, around, put that into negative. When we when we ran this, it exploded. What we can now do is add resistance. Well, it's still going to explode. Let's add a hundred. Uh, suddenly, when we add a hundred uh, ohms, the LED comes on, and now it's saying here currently the LED is at six sixty five. MA, while the recommended maximum is 20, so it might not be worked properly. So we probably want, let's say, uh, 300. And we maybe want a bit more than that, maybe 350. And there we go. Our amps are changing. Our um, light is changing. And we're using the correct resistance to allow us to power that. So in this video, we've looked quickly at an ammeter or voltmeter to tell you how much how many volts or amps are running around a circuit, and also a resistor, which allows us to use some of the energy, the electrical energy going around as heat, to mean there's less electricity running around the circuit.